hi glams welcome to my channel today i have two simple and easy like really really easy diys for you guys the first one is this really pretty charger kind of like tray vanity tray if you want to call it and the second is these two candle holders i do have it kind of decorated so of course i had to point out the diys everything in this photo is a diy and it's videos that are on my channel so if you haven't seen those try and catch up i will try to link those videos in the description box so you can check those out as well um also if you are not subscribed to my channel girl what are you waiting for go ahead and hit that subscribe button it's sitting right down there and double tap that bell next to that subscribe button so that you're notified every time I upload. So let's jump into this first DIY. So the first thing you're going to need for the little charger coaster vanity tray <clears throat> is a mirror. I got this mirror from Michaels and you're also going to need these glass gems. I picked these up from Dollar Tree. Keep in mind that Dollar Tree does carry two types of gems, glass gems. They have these and then they have the ones that are smaller that have like a little blue tint to it. So I just got the larger glass gems because um, that is what I wanted to use. And as far as the mirror, it is from Michaels. I got it for $2.56 with a 40% off coupon. So... <clears throat> Needless to say, this DIY only cost me about four or five bucks. So, when I first started this DIY, I got this idea from Sharon. She, she's so fabulous um, here on YouTube. Um, she had a charger kind of like mirrored tray on her tablescape. And I thought that was really pretty. So, I decided to try and make one. And I originally wanted the gems to stand up like I'm showing you guys here. But after I got halfway done, I realized that it wasn't strong enough and it was going to end up falling. So, and it plus I couldn't really hide the glue because I wanted to just use the glass gems and I didn't want to use any bling wrap or anything like that. And I didn't have any strong adhesive and the glue kind of seeps out through the cracks. So, um, I decided to just take all those down, remove all the glue, and I decided to lay them down like so. So, this one's very easy, very simple, not very, uh, very, very tedious with the glue or anything like that. So, just to let you guys know that... As a DIYer, I do mess things up and I have to go back and change it. DIYing is about trial and error. I always say this in my videos for you guys that it is about trial and error. There is no wrong or right way to make something. You just make it to your liking. So I ended up going with this using just laying the gems down and it still looked it really, really nice. And I said that I was going to make about four of these to set my table However, I use my table as my crafting table and I just have this black tablecloth thrown over it to keep the glue from getting on it. So I'm not really sure how I'm going to set my tablescape. So, but yeah, this is what I decided to do with the first DIY is just to lay the glass gems down and the glass gems fit perfectly around the circle I'm not really sure how big the circle circle is I think it's a 10 inch but I'm not a certain so but yeah Michaels has these all the time it's over there by the candle holders I believe if I'm not mistaken and you can use a 40% off coupon And this is my last gym, so I am just closing this up and wrapping up this first DIY. And don't forget to wipe off your mirror. I always forget to wipe off my mirror and wipe the fingerprints off and get the glue strings off. So this is what my first DIY turned out. 
to look like. The flowers are from Dollar Tree. The pale with the bling wrap around it is something that I made in a previous DIY. Like I said before, I will try to link those down in the description box so that you guys can check out. So moving on to the second DIY, I'm using these little cracked glass candle holders that I picked up a couple of months ago from Dollar Tree. I'm using these two tea light candle holders or tea stem or whatever you want to call them. You guys know what I'm talking about. And then I'm also using these tea light candle holders. They are a leaf shape <clears throat> and I picked these up like a day or so from Dollar Tree. So normally what I do is I usually leave the paper on the back because it helps the Dollar Tree, it helps it stick to the other part that I'm gluing it down. But this particular time I decided to take it off. And I wanna let you guys know that I did glue these three times before I actually got them to stay. And the glue did seep out. I'm not gonna put any bling wrap or anything like that on there. You have to really, really be looking close um, to see that the glue seeped out. So I didn't wanna put any glue, any bling wrap around it. I wanted it to stay clear, so I just left it clear. So taking the top part of the candle holder, taking the top part of the candle and just placing it on there and this is what I ended up with. This is a really pretty setup. It'll be great for a centerpiece for a table. I'm not sure what size candles I'm going to get to go in there, but I thought this was really, really pretty. And I thought about spray painting it white because I think the tea light candle holders, the leaf ones in the middle, one of them seemed to have like a yellowish tint to it. I'm not sure if it's just the way that it's coming off on camera or if it was the way that I positioned it but I thought about spray painting them if I do I will let you guys know um I will give you guys an update on me spray painting them and how they turned out but this is both of the DIYs together basically everything in this photo in this video in this clip rather is a DIY the two silver vases I did make as a candle holder I just took them apart and of course the pail is a DIY with the flowers and you can barely see the vase on the side the black one that was when I first started doing DIY is when I started that so again these are my two simple and easy but glam DIYs and I hope you guys like. Don't forget to thumbs this video up and subscribe. And I will see you glams in my next one. Bye glams. Thank you.